10 Best Places to Visit in Kenya Hello Desplorers, welcome to another exciting video presented to you by Desplore. On this channel, we have been taking you around Africa, telling you the top 10 things you probably didn't know about the beautiful countries on the African continent. Understanding that you now know a lot about Africa, we thought we'd bring you the top spots you should visit in each of these countries in our new series, 10 Best Places to Visit. In order to show you the top spots you should have on your bucket list, when visiting African countries. In this video, we shall be shining the light on Kenya, bringing you the 10 best places to visit in Kenya. Kenya, officially the Republic of Kenya, is a country in East Africa with 47 semi-autonomous counties, governed by elected governors. At 580,367 km square, Kenya is the world's 48th largest country by total area. and a population of more than 47.6 million people, Kenya is the 29th most populous country in the world. The GDP of Kenya is $99.246 billion and the GDP per capita is $2,010. Kenya's capital and largest city is Nairobi, while its oldest city and first capital is the coastal city of Mombasa. For more on this beautiful country, Click on the card on your screen for a dedicated video on the 10 things you didn't know about Kenya. If you are new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. The English and Swahili speaking country is currently ruled by Uhuru Muigia Kenyatta. And if you wish to visit Kenya, you need to know how to use the Kenyan shillings, which is the official currency of the country. But first, let's dive in and examine the 10 best places to visit in Kenya. Number 10. Mount Kenya National Park In the central highlands, east of the Great Rift Valley, Mount Kenya National Park is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Encompassing the country's highest mountain at 5,199 meters, Mount Kenya, and providing the rare site of the equatorial snow. The highest is Batin, although nearly on the next highest is a tougher climb. The lowest peak, Linana, is considered the easiest climb, although unpredictable weather can pose challenges. Scenery varies from glaciers, lakes, and mineral springs to alpine forests and dense pockets of bamboo. The diversity of flora and fauna provides rewarding opportunities for safaris. Among the wildlife here, you may spot black and white colobus monkeys, buffalo, elephant, tree hyrax, leopard, and hyena. Nestled in the foothills, the famous Fairmont Mount Kenya Safari Club is a luxury retreat with trout fishing, golf, and tennis. This national park was established to conserve the endangered wildlife of the surrounding areas of Mount Kenya. It has now developed into a full-fledged tourist attraction and is one of the top Kenya sightseeing places that are known for its exhilarating wildlife safari tours. Number 9. Malindi and Watamu North of Mombasa on the Kenyan coast, Malindi is a beach resort adorning the southeastern coast of Kenya. Malindi is a popular resort town in the country, having two different faces. One part of the city reflects on its rich history, while the other half is a modern-day tourist hotspot. It is one of the most popular Kenyan attractions that lure tourists to explore its historical monument, pristine beaches, and extensive corals. Thanks to its rich trading history, it is also a melting pot of cultures and cuisines with a split personality. Part historic old town, part modern tourist hub, Malindi is where travelers come to sun on the white sands of Watamu Beach. Dive the coral reefs of the Malindi and Watamu Marine National Parks and soak up a dose of Swahili history in the historic town. Other interesting places to visit in Malindi are the Jami Mosque, two pillar tombs from the 14th century, and the Church of St. Francis Xavier, one of East Africa's oldest churches. On the promontory, the Vasco da Gama Cross is one of the oldest standing monuments in Africa. The beaches are a great place for indulging in exciting activities such as sunset sails, sunbathing, diving, and dolphin watching. The towns are also lined with plenty of luxury hotels, villas, and resorts. Number 8. Samburu Buffalo Springs and Shaba National Reserves On the banks of the palm-lined Awaso Nero River, Samburu Buffalo Springs and Shaba Reserves lie in an arid region in the remote north of Kenya. They are home to a wide range of animals such as leopards, elephants, zebras and giraffes. 
A large population of birds has also been reported in this natural habitat. The Iwaso Ngiro River flows through the reserves and provides water to the wildlife. Other major highlights in this dry area are the Samburu people and the Laikipia Plateau. Number 7. Lake Nakuru National Park Lake Nakuru National Park in central Kenya is famous for its huge flocks of pink flamingos. The birds throng on Lake Nakuru itself, one of the Rift Valley southern lakes that comprises almost a third of the park's area. The park was established in 1961 and more than 450 species of birds have been recorded here, as well as a rich diversity of other wildlife. Lions, leopards, warthogs, waterbucks, pythons and white rhinos are just some of the animals you might see and the landscapes range from sweeping grasslands bordering the lake to rocky cliffs and woodland. The park also protects the largest Euphorbia candelabrum forest in Africa. These tall branching succulents are endemic to the region and provide an interesting textural element to the arid landscapes. Lake Nakuru National Park is well known worldwide for its huge number of flamingos and other birds. The lake has alkaline water and plankton that support the huge population of birds. The park is also home to lions, hippos, giraffes, warthogs, ostriches and white rhinos. It is easily accessible from Nairobi, which makes it a good place to visit when staying in Kenya's capital. This premium park is surrounded by great lodges, hotels and restaurants to cater for its visitors. Number 6. Nairobi Kenya's capital and largest city Nairobi is legendary for its colorful colonial history. It was once the capital of British East Africa, luring settlers who came here to stake their fortune in the coffee and tea industries. Today, you can explore the city's famous historic sites as well as some excellent wildlife-related attractions. The Nairobi National Museum is a great one-stop spot to see exhibits on Kenya's history, nature, culture and contemporary art. Green Thumbs will also enjoy the botanic gardens on the grounds. Another popular tourist attraction is the Karin Blixen Museum, the restored residence of the famous Danish author of the book, Out of Africa, also known by her pen name, Isaac Dinesen. To see wildlife without venturing far from the city center, visit Nairobi National Park, now a black rhino sanctuary and also home to a diversity of other African wildlife. Number 5. Hell's Gate National Park A hotspot for climbers, Hell's Gate National Park is one of the few parks in Kenya that allows camping and enables you to explore on foot or bicycle. Hell's Gate offers excellent climbing and hiking opportunities, with two extinct volcanoes, the red cliffs of Hell's Gate George, obsidian caves and the pointed column of rock known as Fisher's Tower, a former volcanic plug. Geothermal features include hot springs and natural geysers, hissing steam through vents in the Earth's crust. The park also protects a wide variety of wildlife, including leopards, baboons, heart beasts, eland, ostriches, gazelles, and more than 100 species of birds, as well as eagle and vulture breeding grounds. Okaria Geothermal Station, the first of its kind in Africa, lies within Hell's Gate National Park and generates power from heated pressurized water underground. The Olu Karia Maasai Cultural Center within the park is filled with Maasai singing, dancing, and jewelry making demonstrations. Number 4. Lamu The small island of Lamu, northeast of Mombasa, oozes wool charm. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, Lamu Old Town is Kenya's oldest continually inhabited settlement with origins dating back to the 12th century. Strolling the labyrinthine streets, you can see the island's rich trading history reflected in the buildings. Architectural features from the Arab world, Europe, and India are evident, yet with a discernible Swahili technique. Intricately carved wooden doors, coral stone buildings, hidden courtyards, verandas, and rough-tooth patios are common features. Visiting here is like stepping back in time. They will explore the harbor. Few if any motorized vehicles exist here, and donkeys still rule the streets as they have done for centuries. Most of Lamu's population is Muslim, and both men and women dress in traditional attire. Top attractions on the island include Lamu Museum, with displays of Swahili culture and the region's nautical history, Lamu Fort, Rida Mosque, 
and the Donkey Sanctuary. If all the history is a little too much, you can bask on one of the island's white sand beaches or sip Arabic coffee in a local cafe. Number 3. Lake Victoria Passing through three African countries namely Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania, Lake Victoria is the largest lake in the whole continent of Africa. It is one of the best places to visit in Kenya where one can find peace amidst tranquil environment and also explore the extensive variety of aquatic life which includes species like African helmeted turtles, variable mud turtles, Williams mud turtle and 500 species of fish which include non-native fishes like African tetras, sea prinets, air-breathing catfish and bagreed catfish. This lake is a melting point of Africa's aquatic life as it has so many species of aquatic life found all over Africa. Number 2. Tavo National Park Kenya's largest park Tavo is sliced in two, Tavo West and Tavo East. Together, these parks comprise 4% of the country's total area and encompass rivers, waterfalls, savanna, volcanic hills, a massive lava rock plateau and an impressive diversity of wildlife. Midway between Nairobi and Mombasa, Tavo East is famous for photo-worthy sightings of large elephant herds rolling and bathing in red dust. The Palm French Galana River twists through the park, providing excellent game viewing and a lush counterpoint to the arid plains. Other highlights here include the Yada Plateau, the world's longest lava flow, Mudanda Rock, and the Lugard Falls, which spill into rapids and crocodile fueled pools. Tava West is wetter and topographically more varied, with some of the most beautiful scenery in the northern reaches of the park. Highlights here are Mzima Springs, a series of natural springs with large populations of hippos and crocodiles, Chaimu Crater, a great spot for seeing birds of prey, and Gruelia Reno Sanctuary. Wildlife is not as easy to see in Tava West because of the dense vegetation, but the beautiful scenery more than compensates. Number 1. Masai Mara National Reserve Masai Mara National Reserve is one of the world's most magnificent game reserves. Bordering Tanzania, the Mara is the northern extension of the Serengeti and forms a wildlife corridor between the two countries. It is named after the statuesque red-cloaked Masai people who live in the park and graze their animals here, as they have done for centuries. In their language, Mara means mottled, perhaps a reference to the play of light and shadow from the acacia trees and cloud-studded skies on the vast grasslands. The park is famous for the great migration when thousands of wild beasts, zebra, and Thompson's gazelle travel to and from the Serengeti, from July through October. In the Mara River, throngs of hippos and crocodiles lurk. The park is also known for providing excellent predator sightings thanks to its relatively large populations of lion, cheetah, and leopard, especially in dry months from December through February. Thanks to the park's altitude, the weather here is mild and gentle year-round. There you have it, the Splowers. Those were the 10 best places to visit in Kenya. Thanks for watching this video. If you want us to cover any of your top 10 topics, leave a suggestion in the comment section and we will do well to grant your request. Also, if you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.